All right, so thank you very much for joining us here on Sports Today on the Joy Sports Channel on Multi TV. Today we're looking at a whole range of things, including all the big friendlies that happened uh, on Wednesday. And of course, uh, we'll be discussing many issues coming out of that friendly, including what happened uh, with the Black Stars discussions that went on in the background with Coach Kwesi Apia, uh, said to be having talks with uh, former coach uh, Milovan Raivat, his boss, to um, come and consult for him uh, during the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. Start sending in your messages. I know you've got thoughts on this. Uh, Milovan Rahevacha, he uh, sent the Black Stars to the quarterfinals uh, of the World Cup in South Africa in 2010. And the man uh, could just be making a return to the team to uh, help to fine-tune the effort to prepare the team and make it a five-star performing one at the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. Also, uh, there is talk about the Black Stars jersey as well. Uh, the new uh, main jersey, which is the white jersey, we'll be talking about that in a bit as well. And also, uh, the Youth and Sports Minister, Elvis Afriye Ankara, has uh, thoughts on a lot of news uh, flying around about specific figures for Ghana's participation in the FIFA World Cup. Well, we will have him live on the phone line so that he can explain things for us. What is the figure? Is it 20, 20 million US dollars? Is it less? Is it more? When are we going to get the real figure? All of these questions and more right here on Sports Today on the Joy Sports Channel on Multi TV. Of course, later today, uh, the Sochi Paralympics will begin, but there are problems. Problems in that uh, neighboring Ukraine will have their athletes withdraw because of the political instability. Shakhtar Donetsk, for instance, also, um, you know, uh, really bemoaning the, uh, the, the cancellation of the Premier League in uh, Ukraine and uh, the president of the club is suggesting that they have you know uh, all their, their the sponsorship uh, you know tops are removed or the sponsorship uh, stickers removed from their shirts so that they can uh, replace them with uh, messages of solidarity to help Ukraine come out of this uh, uh, political situation which is very very unfortunate well uh, we'll be talking about that and many more as well as what to expect this coming weekend Ghana's three clubs in there in the uh, uh, the CAF Champions League and, of course, the CAF Confederation Cup. Um, we've got, uh, you know, uh, Brickham Chelsea who say that they still have a good chance to qualify, uh, you know, in the competition. All of these and more will be here on Sports Today. The newspapers are up in a bit, so you stay right there. Don't go anywhere. This is Sports Today. You can only get it on the Joy Sports Channel on Multi TV. Remember, Nathaniel Atto, Citizen Atto, if you want to send a message to my Facebook wall, and of course, 1760 if you're on your mobile phone, it'll cost you only 30 Ghana pesos. Very, very harmless. You stay right there. This is Sports Today. All right, so I was just uh, having a look at my phone to see if uh, some text messages are coming in. Now they come in my inbox. They come everywhere. So, um, so uh, we will be, uh, you know, uh, getting into your messages in a while. So I'll be, we'll be talking about a couple of things, like I told you earlier. We'll be talking about the budget for the FIFA World Cup, Ghana's budget for the FIFA World Cup. Uh, many speculate it's 20 million U.S. dollars and uh, others speculating otherwise. Well, what are the real figures? We'll be getting on the line with uh, the Youth and Sports Minister, Elvis Afriye Ankara, so he uh, gives us a good explanation as to what exactly is the situation. We'll also be talking uh, and doing a review about uh, the game that was played against Montenegro. Who were the big performers for you, and uh, what's the way going forward? How much of a test has that game given the Black Stars? You tell me, send a message uh, to my Facebook wall. It's Nathaniel Atto, Citizen Atto, or... Alternatively, you can get on, um, you can get through 1760, the text code. And also remember that later on in the show, we'll be bringing you uh, exclusive interviews with uh, Eric Amwa, former national tennis, uh, uh, table tennis star, who is uh, putting together yet another uh, tournament. Now, he's been embarking on a project to support table tennis in a very big way with his own resources and his um, own ideas. So the Eric Amwa Table Tennis Foundation putting together a tournament this weekend uh, at the Accra Stadium. Also, our brother of former IBF waterweight champion, uh, Joshua Clotty, Emmanuel Clotty, will be here with us in the studio. When was the last time you heard from him? Well, the boxer is still active 
and there are issues to talk about, especially um, after we had a chat with his brother, you know, about one or two things. Uh, we'll be talking to uh, the man, uh, Emmanuel Clote, as well here on the show. We'll also be taking you outside of Ghana where, uh, of course, uh, you know, in Sochi, uh, it's just uh, mixed feelings because the Ukrainian Paralympians may just not be taking part in the um, Sochi Paralympics. Well, let's get into what's on the graphic sports newspaper, and that's... Um, the only newspaper we have for you today. There we are. It says, Ronaldo signals stars and others. Okay, so uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is uh, sending a signal to the black stars and others. Okay. <laughs> Game on. And uh, Skipper Asamoajan models uh, the new black stars jersey, the red jersey. That's the away jersey. Uh, not too bad, if you ask me. But the white, many people... Uh, have a few reservations about it. Uh, Coach Milovan Ryavac to assist a pair. That's the question there. So you send in your messages. Uh, what do you make of uh, Coach Milovan Ryavac's, uh, you know, uh, supposed return to the Black Stars team? And uh, what impact do you think he can make? Remember, Coach Milovan Ryavac, uh, you know, led the Black Stars to the, um, the uh, second uh, round, uh, the, the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Let's just take a quick look at some of the other samples of jerseys of teams that will be playing at the World Cup. So there we are. We've got uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, France, Germany, Brazil, and Cameroon there. Cameroon. And of course, Nigeria. Looking more of lime green now. The Adidas jersey. So there we are. These are the jerseys um, that are going to feature prominently at the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. So um, there's a very big question here. Is uh, Coach David Moyes' job on the line? Well, I know that many uh, Manchester United fans could just answer yes to that. But who are the men who could probably uh, replace him? Well, Antonio Conte uh, of Juventus, uh, Diego Simeone, uh, also named there, Luis Van Gaal has also been named. And uh, I can also see at the bottom of the page, uh, the man Jorgen Klopp. Fabio Capello is also there. So Luis Van Gaal, uh, Jorgen Klopp, and Fabio Capello. Big name coaches who have really achieved, if you ask me, and uh, they will be uh, you know, uh, they will be, uh, sup they're supposed to be in line for the coaching job. <laughs> well, there were midweek thrills as well. Um, in the first Capital Plus Premier League, uh, Liberty Professionals uh, posting that 3-1 win over second D Hazakas. There we are. And this game surely comes as a big breather for Liberty Professionals. So these are the moments of that game. Of course, King Faisal as well with uh, Asante Kotoko in that Kumasi derby there. So there it is. Also, uh, very soon, uh, the, the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup will begin in uh, Costa Rica. And there is a very big preview to it in the, uh, on page 13 of the Graphic Sports. All right, so there we are. So there is supposedly a, a tricky duel for Brecum Chelsea in the Champions League as they are going up against uh, the Libyan side Al Ali Benghazi. So can uh, Ashgold repeat Faisal's feat? Well, that's a very big question. So Coach Milovan Rajevac and his then assistant, who is now the main man in charge, uh, he is going to be consulting for uh, the Black Stars team. So uh, your messages are welcome, like I said. And uh, we'll be talking to Youth and Sports Minister Elvis Afriye Ankara as well as we get into the details of what exactly the situation is with Ghana's participation. How much is it going to weigh on the national purse? And how much is it going to drain out of the national purse? Some say it's 20 million US dollars, and um, you know, this figure has uh, gone around a bit. And you know, there is major, major, there are major, major debates on this 
as well. So we'll be talking to the Youth and Sports Minister uh, later on here on the show. Like I said, uh, studio appearances by a boxer Emmanuel Clotte, who is brother of former IBF uh, welterweight champion uh, Joshua Clotte. Um, I'll be uh, reading some messages to you in a bit, and um, I'll be uh, bringing you your thoughts as well. What you also think about the figures, and um, you know, and the and the uh, the possible, you know, the possible uh, impact that Coach Milovan Rajevac could just be making on the uh, Black Stars team if he is actually going to take part in the process to uh, play a good campaign at the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. So these and many more will be coming. Did you see that game on uh, Wednesday, the Black Stars playing Montenegro? Well, the Black Stars lost by a goal to nil, but uh, you got the opportunity to see the guys in action. You saw uh, the likes of Abdul Majid Waris in action. Uh, you saw uh, Jordan Ayu and all. And uh, goalkeeper Adam Larson Kwarase was back. Well, he had to concede a goal. But, uh, you know, uh, the likes of uh, David Adi, for instance, who uh, we've spoken about severally. He granted Joy Sport several interviews to talk about, uh, you know, wanting to make a return to the Black Stars team and how he kept uh, performing and yet was not being seen. Well, he was given the opportunity, but what did he do? Uh, a penalty, a big blunder that resulted in a penalty. So what, what do you make? Do you think that the Black Stars have had a good enough test from this game against Montenegro, what does it tell us ahead of Brazil 2014? So these and many other things we'll be discussing right here. So uh, ahead of time, you can send in your messages. Remember, it's um, 1760 for the text code, 1760. And also get on my Facebook wall, uh, you know, my Facebook wall is Nathaniel Atto, Citizen Atto, here on the show. So... Um, just uh, tell us what impact you think uh, Coach uh, Milovan Rivat could be making uh, right there. And also, uh, we'll be looking ahead to some of the games that will be played on the African continent. Remember that uh, Brekum Chelsea... Uh, Brekum Chelsea will also be playing in the CAF Champions League. Remember that they'll be playing Al Ahly Ben Ghazi. And uh, this surely is going to be one very, very, very big, um, you know, game. And of course, uh, Midyama SC will be playing uh, MAS uh, first uh, uh, under floodlights uh, of Morocco. Remember that game uh, will be at 7 p.m. tomorrow. So uh, Ibusian Dwarfs, uh, they uh, look forward to playing in the. Uh, CAF Confederation Cup as well, and that uh, they have brighter chances of qualifying for this uh, very big uh, competition. So players on the African stage, let's just see how all of that goes. We'll be getting into the details of the big stories we've got for you in a bit. But something caught my attention in the graphics post, which I thought uh, you should take a look at. Uh, it says, uh, does uh, Mourinho want uh, Mario Balotelli? Mm. Big, big question, especially as uh, coach uh, Jose Mourinho has been expressing his concern about uh, the strikers in the, um, in the team. So um, there's a story on page 15 of the graphic sports. And also the man, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, he, there he is, uh, he's uh, signaled uh, to the Black Stars and others. It surely is going to be a very big battle for everybody. So I'll be taking you through some of the results as well from all the big friendlies uh, during uh, the week on Wednesday. Now, we will get into uh, the details of the friendlies that were played in a bit. Remember, Ghana was the headliner for Ghanaian interest. Uh, Ghana losing by one goal to nil to Montenegro. All right, so um, we've got some messages to share with you here. Uh, Witness Ati says, Morning, citizen. All I want to say is Kwesi really knows what he's doing, so let's just support him. And Prince Charles Adigli says, Whatever will bring us success is all I need. Seriously, Ronaldo will give us a lot of trouble. And Timothy Niai says, um, good move, but we should check our right back and left back because CR7 is too skillful and pacey. Marco Tumi says, hello Nat, uh, I think Kwesiapia's decision was not right at that moment because he could have started some of the other star players. John Kumi or Sajifo says, uh, Kwesiapia has really commanded a lot of respect through this move and I think Coach Milovan is the right choice at the moment. So Nana Bafo Iwa says, if the rumors are true, then Kwesi Apia cannot do the job. 
he should resign and hand over his post to Milovan Rahevat. Okay, so I'll be sharing some more of your messages with you, and um, we'll be talking some more about uh, the business of the day. Remember, we're talking about uh, the expected return of Coach Milovan Rahevat as a consultant to Coach Kweziapia for Brazil 2014, and uh, what your thoughts are on that issue as well. And also, we'll be talking about the Black Stars. You saw bits of that friendly against Montenegro, and we're asking you, what exactly is... Um, the lesson or what are the lessons to be learned from that game well let's switch attention and talk a bit of table tennis now because the eric amor tennis uh, table tennis foundation is putting together yet another tournament at the accra sports stadium this weekend and the man himself is here former national number one uh who's also an olympian uh here with me in the studio to do some discussions ahead of time how are you doing my brother I'm everything good, okay yes. uh, nice watch there oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right eric you tell me now um there was a successful launch of the Eric Amor, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tennis Foundation, uh, you know, tournament. Now, um, it's a few days to go. Tell me about the level of enthusiasm among the players and, you know, the fraternity and uh, how everybody's looking forward to this tournament. Well, basically, I mean, with our um, contact with the regions mm. and the response is very, very good. I mean, uh, we've got uh, all the 10 regions coming down. You know, I've given them a number of players that I'm requesting for them that I'll pay their TNT and I'll, I'll feed them as well. But it's open to us. So the regions coaches will bring their players. They are bringing two guests to voice, and including the coach himself. So, I mean, that's, that, 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 that's exactly what we're looking at. But then, uh, if you live in Accra or you live in Kumasi or you live in Takrari or whatever, and you think you can make it to Accra Sports Stadium, you're welcome. You know what I mean? And um, the coach... I spoke to him yesterday and he has given me a lot of assurance that almost about eight regions, you know, has confirmed their number of players. And even region like uh, Central Region, I've got about 50 players already, you know what I mean? Because they got a lot of youth players in, in, in Central Region. They got Willie Bar, they got um, Suedro, and they got Cape Coast as well. And the, the, the local districts also got a lot of players. So, mm. Eastern region as well, we, you know, Kumasi, you know, all the regions are eager to come in. So basically, um, it means that the tournament is growing even faster than you, you expected. Exactly. That's why, if you've noticed, this time around, I'm not moving around. Like last year, almost every week I'm here with you, you know, to discuss about a competition. But this time around, because it's one man show, you know what I mean? I'm the one doing everything. So I have to lay low and do the right things for the guys to come and enjoy the tennis. That's the most important you know mm. idea behind the Rikamu mm. Ativo Tennis Foundation. I see. All right, so what is there to be won on the day proper? Oh, a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, as you know, I went, I went to UK to do the customized trophy for them, the medals, and um, got to tennis bats, equipment as well, you know, which are quite expensive. They can't even afford it. They don't even have it in Ghana, so I have to fly out to get it and bring it back for the guys and there are some surprises that I don't want to you know disclose it but anyway I mean last year was massive and this year is going to be you know extra extraordinary trust me mm, I see um, we're talking about the the the, uh, the, the play proper um, how are the technical people also responding to all of this the the coaches and the technical people yeah I mean it's 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 good because if you look if you look at a lunch you was there you saw that as um, chief coach, uh, Yee Kwe, the former African, two times African champion. You saw uh, Mr. Uh, Aihin as well, our former chief coach. And you saw the current chief coach as well. You saw a lot of people are responding to, you know, what I'm doing because they think what I'm doing is, 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 is a good thing and that will generate a lot of attention for the youth as well. As you know, you know my track record, you know, since school days, I started playing table tennis. You know, you've been a very good friend back in the days you know when I used to run to the beach and all that so you know when you cut them from the youth level obviously you know we'll have a lot of future in table tennis and um, everything that I'm doing I'm not doing it you know expecting something out of it but I'm doing it for the youth of the game because the game that have made me who I am today mm -hmm. so the chief coaches are all coming down on Saturday Mm. just to, you know, uh, 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 make sure that they'll do the officiating and all that because that's not my job anyway. So I've left sure, everything sure, for sure. them to do. Um, as we round up the discussion, um, I'd want you to give us a, a few details about when exactly the tournament starts and uh, when we're going to see the finale at the Across Stadium. Good. I mean, the tournament will start at half eight. That's 8.30. And um, um, by, by half four, everything is done. 
and that's that. So if you really want to come over and witness the talent that we got in this country, you really need to come early because the players are playing good and you might lose a lot of actions. So you need to come early to the Accra Sports Hall and witness. And moreover, we got executive class as well. Executive class, I'm talking of people like your your boss, you know, Mauko, like somebody like Mauko, for example. Um, or or Stan Big Bang. Exactly, yeah. 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 You know, the class of them, and we got um, the, uh, the chief executive of uh, Graphic Ghana, and a whole lot of big men that we expect him to play the executive because during their school days, they used to battle it out. So they need to come back and show their banter. All right, that would be time. great. Yeah. Seeing Malko Afajinu, the yeah. uh, director in charge of marketing at Stanbic Bank, and also uh, Mr. Ken Ashibe, managing director of Graphic Communications Group, there on the table. It will be wonderful, it will be exciting. So it will be there tomorrow. All the action is on at the Accra Sports Stadium, specifically the ROG DG Hasramani uh, Table Tennis uh, Hall of the Accra Stadium. You can't miss it. You enter the stadium through the main gate and it's on your right hand side. So uh, Eric Amwa will also be there. Everybody will be there and uh, expect excerpts of the high points of that tournament on Monday's edition of the show. So Eric, thank you very much. Uh, but before you go, uh, your thoughts. Um, you know, the Black Stars lost 1-0 to Montenegro. Um, we're still preparing. Uh, you know, all the teams are all, all you know, preparing. Uh, what are your thoughts as, you know, after this has been played? There's news also that Coach Milovan Rajevac could be coming back to consult for us. <laughs> well, basically, you know, when uh, Ghana is playing, a lot of rumors always fly around. And um, I don't know how true is that story. You know, we we'll wait to see, we we'll wait to find out. But, you know, that friendly match, as you can see, they had a lot of chances. They, they couldn't, you know, make good use of it. But, however, you know, it's just a friendly match. We shouldn't take it hard on them and we should expect you know more more action you know what i mean by more action is the more we play the more we get used to the team now because the guys are eager to try to you know go beyond a uh, 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 quarter finals or uh, the last 116 or it was it quarter finals that yeah, that was yeah the that's quarter right. final stage they are looking for it to get even to the finals because right. i spoke to so and, and I, I know i'm seeing you in brazil right oh, de definitely <laughs> definitely <man. laughs> before you go which team do you, you lived in the uk that's uh, right uh, which team do you support in the epl manchester united okay manchester united will also be in action um this weekend um, as we build up to another match day uh, of uh, uh, action in the English Premier League. Of course, here it will be Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Southampton get very, very troublesome sometimes. So uh, Crystal Palace play Southampton here on the Joy Sports channel on Multi TV. That will be tomorrow with my man Kwame Jumwajiman and um, our team of expert analysts. Let's now take a look at the preview for uh, the match day uh, this weekend. All right, so uh, matches to be played. The West Brom going up against Manchester United. Manchester United playing away at West Bromwich Albion. And, of course, uh, Cardiff uh, play Fulham. While Crystal Palace play Southampton, that game will be live on Joy Sports and Multi-TV, of course. Uh, Norwich play Stoke City. And Chelsea host Tottenham at the uh, bridge. Hmm, that will be a very, very big and interesting encounter. Can Adebayo's magic work against Chelsea? Okay. Um, we've got on the phone line the Youth and Sports Minister Elvis Efriye Ankara who joins us to talk about the uh, budget for uh, the World Cup. Now, if you uh, flip through the pages of the Graphic Sports newspaper, uh, there's a column that does uh, Vox Pops and listens to the views of fans, and it talks about the 20 million uh, World Cup budget. And it's focusing on what people are saying. So is it really 20 million? Well, uh, the Youth and Sports Minister joins us for a bit of a discussion on uh, everything that's been going around about how much it's going to cost Ghana to participate in Brazil 2014. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Elvis Afriye Ankara, for joining us on the show. Thank you very much. All right. Now, um, let's get into the details. You have uh, presented a budget uh, for approval. Uh, by by uh, cabinet now, is the figure twenty million dollars as as you know as is uh, been spread around and as is going around? Well, thank you, um, Nat, for this great opportunity. Um, I'm at pains to speak, but I'm compelled to speak just to set the record straight. Um, first of all, um, the budget for World Cup goes through a number of processes. The FA presents the budget to the ministry. The ministry independently scrutinizes it. We call the FA for clarification. We hold a joint meeting. In fact, as I speak now, we've, we've held about three joint meetings. 
subsequently, um, the budget was sent to authorities higher than me. I don't need to mention any names. And it was looked at, and then questions were asked again, and then all that back and forth. Now we've gotten to the final stage where I need to brief the entire cabinet with the president chairing. Because this is a national, an issue of national importance. So when the cabinet is briefed, then they will look at the budget and decide, okay, this one is too much, this one is too small, this one. So till that is done, I cannot be putting out figures. Because you recall that right from the time I presented the budget, uh, the ministry's budget in parliament, people started putting out figures and insisting that we should mention the figure. And I told them there was, I couldn't mention a figure because we had then not received the, the proposals from the um, um, FA. And even when we do receive the proposals, we have to go through all these processes. So I appreciate and acknowledge the interest in Ghanaians wanting to get information on the budget, it is legitimate. The media, you have a legitimate cause and a legitimate right to ask questions because it is taxpayers' money. And I want to give the fullest assurance that when we do go through the process and we get approval, we will put it out there in the public domain and everybody can make his comments. All but right. now, it will be totally out of place for me to be putting out figures. All right. Now, um, you, you've mentioned that there is a process that it goes through. At this stage, how early can we expect to get a figure that can be put out or an official figure that can be put out? Um, we are at the last stage. Now, I don't determine cabinet shadow. Um, cabinet means every two weeks, I was supposed to meet next week. I am hopeful that all things being equal, it will be on the agenda for the next cabinet. But that is not something within my power. But I believe that looking at the exigencies of the situation and everybody knowing the sensitivities and the sensibility of Ghanaians and the interest, um, this process will be fast tracked so that we can put this matter to rest. All right. So um, you don't determine, but then it's possible uh, that after the last cabinet, the next cabinet meeting, this will be done. Um, yes. it, it, would it then be right to say that within a fortnight's time, this should be done or a figure can be put out I within a fortnight? I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe within that range that is fair. I believe that it's, it, 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 let me just say that, look, I, I want this out more than everybody. Okay. Because it, it just, um, it will help stop all the speculation and then we can focus on the preparations. Um, we, 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 we have less than 100 days to go. There's a lot of work to do, and we need to get all these things out of the way so that we can focus on the preparations. I would want to, again, assure Ghanaians there is nothing to hide. The truth is one. We have preached the truth today. A thousand years, it will still remain the truth. There is nothing to hide. Once we get a clearance, we'll put it out there in the public domain. Let me right. just make a quick comment. That right. When we talk about budgets and figures, um, people talk about the cumulative. But what happens is that at every stage of the World Cup, there's a budget. So, for instance, we have the qualified stages, okay? There's an amount that you want to spend. When you get to that point and you don't go further, that is only the, the, only the amount you spend. It doesn't mean that whatever figure is given to you, you take that money and keep. No, it doesn't work like that. Okay? Then you move to the next stage. Then you spend so much. And then for every stage, FIFA also rewards. So whatever you spend, you get. And in fact, if you do the net, you get more than even what you've spent. And then finally, when you are able to, by the grace of God, get to the finals, you get the final huge reward, which would be bigger than whatever you have spent. So all these things, I would have loved to have done this discussion when I have final clearance 
and then we can look at the figures and the numbers. And together with FA, this is also part of the, of course, I'm the head of the ministry, so I take ultimate responsibility. But the FA too cannot speak because they are waiting for me to come and tell them clearance has come. So once this comes, all of us, the FA, everybody will be available and accountable and we will explain to Ghanaians. All right, before we round up the discussion, I want you to, I want you to tell me um, whether the, the, the other bits, um, that is uh, the sending of a few fans and all of that, and also the, the um, establishment of a, of a Ghana village at the World Cup, is all part of this budget. No, 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 no. This, this is, I mean, purely, the, I mean, our main focus there is on the team. Okay. Of course, you want to get a few supporters there. Um, we've, we've, we've decided to focus more on a Brazil in Ghana that is focusing on doing things more in Ghana because the majority of the people are here. So we want to do fun packs in the various regional capitals. We want to do about three fun packs in Ghana so that we can create an atmosphere where those who are here will enjoy the World Cup atmosphere. All right. So, so all of these... Yeah, so all of these that you're mentioning are out of the budget, the, the, the budget yes, in question. And, and, and we are determined that government will not put one city in that. That is why we're going around looking for, for corporate sponsorship. So that depending on how much we get, we're going to start a text and win promo very soon. Depending on how much we get, that will determine the number of people that will send. And that will also determine what the other things that we can do. Uh, but back in Brazil... It's just making sure that a few supporters go there, a few officials and some stakeholders, and then you have a, a small viewing center, and that's it. Nothing grandiose. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Elvis Efri Ankara, who is in charge of the um, Youth and Sports Ministry, and he's been addressing the issue of the uh, budget for the FIFA World Cup. Uh, he says that uh, sending fans there and all of that is out of the budget that is being discussed. It's purely the black stars and the participation in there. No figures uh, have been given out. He did not give any specific figures. He says that within the next two weeks, this matter should be laid to rest because by then, final approval would have been given and then uh, the figure would have come out. Let's do a few messages uh, before we bring you extra stuff here on the show. Now, uh, Francis Akon says, Ghana's play was good against Montenegro, but the finishing wasn't productive. Nawa, the evidence says, uh, Nat, I think it was a good decision by Kwesia Pia, even though Milo disappointed us earlier. Anyway, good luck to Chelsea ahead of our game with Tottenham, Hot Tottenham Hotspurs tomorrow. Still the Blues! And uh, Henry Agbo says, this means that Milovan is better than Kwesia Pia totally. Ha, ha, ha. We need f a foreign coach seriously to cure our coaching diseases. Collins Kojopoku says, Kwesia Pia has really disappointed every Ghanaian. Even if it should have opted for an advisor, it shouldn't have been Milovan who ran away, with a, uh, ran away from a contract extension. All right. Now, Bismarck Arthur says, uh, Ronaldo cannot do anything. Mm. Those are some of the messages on my Facebook wall. And uh, right now, let's get into uh, what matches to expect uh, uh, this weekend, uh, aside the game that we'll be showing you here on Joy Sports and Mods TV. All right, so that's uh, in the English Premier League. Uh, Manchester United go away to West Bromwich Albion. And, of course, uh, Cardiff City play Fulham. And uh, Crystal Palace play Southampton. That's the Joy Sports feature of the weekend. Norwich City play uh, Stoke. And, of course, Chelsea play Tottenham. All right, so, so let's take a look at the um, FA Cup fixtures. Uh, Arsenal, Everton, a big game indeed. Charlton, uh, Charlton Athletic play Sheffield United. And Hull City play Sunderland. Or Manchester City play Wigan Athletic. All right, so um, let's also look at the games in the um, Spanish La Liga. And, of course, Barcelona will go away to Real Valladolid. Uh, Real Betis play Hetafe. Celta Vigo play Atletico Madrid. Villarreal play Granada. And um, Espanyol play Elche. Sevilla play Almeria. Real Madrid, uh, the league leaders, they play Levante. While Valencia uh, face Athletic Bilbao. Malaga play Osasuna. And Real Sociedad, they play Rayo Vallecano. Udinese versus AC Milan. One big game in the... Uh, the, uh, the Syria in the Italian uh, Premier League. Um, 
So AC Milan going up against Udinese, of course, a lot of Ghanaian interest there. Michael Essien, uh, Sule Muntari going up against uh, Emmanuel Ajimambedu. All these players were part of uh, the Black Stars game against uh, Montenegro. Catania play Cat uh, Ca Cagliari. Fiorentina go away to Juventus. And Bologna play Sassuolo, while Genoa play Kiev Verona. Inter Milan play Torino. Lazio play Atalanta. Parma play Hellas Verona, while Livorno play Sampdoria. And of course, Napoli play AS Roma. Borussia Mönchengladbach play Augsburg in the uh, German Bundesliga. Ha uh, Hamburg play uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Bayer Leverkusen hold over to Hannover 96. Schalke play TSG Hoffenheim. And of course, Kevin Prince Boating expected to be part of the action there. Stuttgart play uh, Braunschweig. And of course, Bayern Munich, the Kings, uh, they play Wolfsburg, while Nuremberg play uh, Werder Bremen. Borussia Dortmund go away to Freiburg, while Mainz play Hertha Berlin. In the French League 1, Olympic Marseille featuring André de Dayou will play Nice while Paris Saint-Germain play Bastia, Guingamp play Evian Tolon Gaillard, Sochaux uh, play um, Monaco and uh, is expected that Jordan Ayou can score again. And Nantes play Ajaccio while Reim play uh, Toulouse, Valenciennes play Rennes and Lille play Montpellier while Saint-Étienne play Lorient and uh, Bordeaux play Olympic Lyon. All right, so let's also take a look at the CAF Champions League Ghanaian clubs in action. Al Hilal plays Stad Malien. AC Leopards play Primero de Agosto. And of course, and um, Liga, Mukulmana. Uh, Mama play uh, Kaiser Chiefs of South Africa. Dynamos play AS Vita Club. And Kabusko play uh, Zamalek. While uh, Kampala City Council play Inkana FC. Al Ali uh, play Young Africans while Brekum Chelsea play Al Ali Benghazi. Uh, Esperance play Gor Mahia and uh, Enyimba play Real Bamako of Mali. Tipi Mazembe play Astra uh, Douala while Barak Young controllers of uh, Liberia who took out Kotoko play Siwe Sport. And uh, CS Faxian play uh, Dedebi. And of course, Horoya play um, Raja Casablanca of Morocco. Cotton Sport El Garua of Cameroon play Flambeau uh, de l'Est and of course um, Entente Satif they play Asfa Yenega. In the CAF Confederation Cup these are the games to expect this coming weekend. Ismaili uh, play um, Entachente and uh, Petro Atletico they play uh, Ebusuan Dwarfs, uh, Cape Coast based Ebusuan Dwarfs. All right, so let's take a final message. This one comes from Doggy Bentner. He says, Kwesi Apia's decision to contract the former national team coach is a good one. He should keep it up and Ghana shall go places. Thank you very much, uh, Doggy Bentner, for that message. And that rounds it up for sports today. Later on, George Addo Jr. will bring you the football show. Tomorrow morning, uh, Tony Bebley will bring you uh, the sports review show, which will look at all the big stories from this week. And of course, uh, on Sunday, we will bring you um, the uh, GFA TV show, which will come off uh, at 7 p.m. So you have to make a date. Of course, the Ghana Premier League will also be on right here on this channel in partnership with Supersport, uh, our partners. Uh, so uh, the Ghana Premier League is also on on Sunday. Look out as well for uh, the boxing. Uh, boxing uh, is right here on this channel. It's World Series Boxing and it's right here on Joy Sports on Multi TV beginning from tonight. So there's everything to look forward to uh, later this weekend. A fine, great weekend of sport and uh, we'll be coming back to you uh, on Monday. Well, apologies for our inability to bring you the interview with Emmanuel Clotty, brother of uh, former IBF waterway champion uh, Joshua Clotty. We will uh, surely bring you that interview sometime during the week. So you all stay well. Thanks to the whole production team here at Joy Sports. Always keep it here on Joy Sports on Multi TV. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and I have love for sport.